Today is October 9, 2009, and um, just wanted to show you the status of a new uh, stepper motor driver that I've been working on. It takes um, a serial information, like a pulse width modulation, and uh, feeds it into a binary BCD counter, um, binary decoded decimal counter, and then that goes into um, an inverter and then two AND gates to uh, separate the signal so that way it outputs it to uh, each pole of the stepper motor. And now, as you can see, um, the stepper motor will go a quarter, then half, then three. Uh, it goes um, 20, uh, 50 steps, 100 steps, 150 steps, and 200 steps. And it's a 1.8 degree uh, stepper motor, so you can see it go all at half right here, three quarters, and all the way around. And it's uh, pretty precise, as you can see. Now, um, the way it's working is that that same pulse, that's, uh, that pulse width modulation that's going in here, is also going into uh, a pin on the Atmel Omega 16. Uh, INO is what it's called. It's an interrupt pin. And basically, every time that pin goes high, I count it, and I make sure I go 50, or 100, or 150, or 200. Now, as you can see, I'm only running at 5 volts. Um, I can bump it up a lot more, and I'm still working on a something to do with the harmonics, trying to get the stepper motor to be nice and smooth, as you can see, or listen to it. See how it sounds a lot smoother at higher RPMs? You can, it speeds up gradually as it goes around to its larger momentum. Anyways, I'm using um, the SDK 500 to program it. I'm using the uh, ImageCraft compiler. Oh, here's the code. Uh, and all that, and then I use um, uh, AVR Studio to compile the code onto the SDK 500. And uh, other than that, that's it. Oh, I have the LCD screen up and running too. It tells me uh, information. It's, it's feedback coming back from uh, stepper motor. Other than that, that's it.